in this question it's given that consider the following system of equations these three for some value of alpha and beta belonging to r then which of the following is not correct whenever we have to solve three simultaneous equations there are two methods one is using kramer's rule and second is using the concept of augmented matrix the way of using augmented matrix is usually short than the kramer's rule it's clear that the augmented matrix for the given three equations is alpha 2 1 and 1 2 alpha 3 1 and 1 3 alpha 2 and beta and now using elementary row transformation i will be converting this matrix into equilon form that is i will make these three elements zero with the help of elementary row transformation and after that we will decide if you don't know the concept of augmented matrix i will suggest you to see my video of matrices for j first of all i use the operation r3 changes to alpha r3 that is i am multiplying this row by alpha so that when alpha 2 alpha and 3 alpha will be there it will become easier for me to make it zero and hence i get alpha 2 1 and 1 2 alpha 3 1 and 1 3 alpha alpha square 2 alpha and alpha beta i can make it zero by using the operation r3 changes to r3 minus 3 r1 or i can make it zero with the help of this operation also r3 changes to r3 minus r1 plus r2 i find it slightly better therefore i am going to use this operation to make it zero and i get alpha 2 1 1 2 2 alpha 3 1 1 0 alpha square minus 5 2 alpha minus 2 and alpha beta minus 2 and now make this element 0 by using the operation r2 changes to r2 minus 2 r1 i will get alpha 2 1 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 Minus one, zero. Alpha square minus five. Two alpha minus two, and alpha beta minus two. I use the operation R two changes to minus R two. Alpha two one one zero one 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 zero. Alpha square minus five, two alpha minus two, and alpha beta minus two. Now I will make this element zero with the help of this element. That is, I use the operation R three changes to R three minus alpha square minus five into R two. I will get alpha. Two, one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, and here I will be getting two alpha minus two minus 
alpha square minus pi and here I will be getting alpha beta minus 2 minus alpha square minus pi. If you have studied the concept of augmented matrix then you must be knowing that if this is non-zero that is 2 alpha minus 2 minus alpha square plus 5 non-zero then the equation will have unique solution that is alpha square minus 2 alpha minus 3 not equal to 0 that is alpha is not equal to minus 1 or 3 hence if alpha is not minus 1 or 3 then the equation will have unique solution if alpha is minus 1 or 3 then this will become 0 and after it has become 0 at that time this also becomes 0 then the equation will have infinite number of solutions and after this has become 0 but this is not 0 then the equations will have no solution now first case if alpha is minus 1 if alpha is minus 1 this becomes minus beta minus 2 minus 1 plus 5 this is non zero and this means beta is not equal to 2 hence if alpha is minus 1 beta is not equal to 2 it has no solution hence information of first choice is correct and second choice says that it has no solution for alpha equal to minus 1 and for every value of beta if alpha is minus 1 this becomes 0 and for alpha equal to minus 1 if this becomes 0 it will have infinite number of solution and if it is non zero it will be having no solution and this is 0 means beta is equal to 2 hence if alpha is minus 1 beta equal to 2 then infinite number of solutions will be there but it is saying has no solution for alpha equal to minus 1 and for all values of beta but no for alpha equal to minus 1 beta equal to 2 there are infinite number of solutions and because information of second choice is wrong the second choice can be taken as correct choice still for your clarity I will check the third and fourth also just for clarity purpose if alpha is equal to 3 this will become 3 beta minus 2 minus 4 that is it will become 3 into beta minus 2 and if alpha is 3 and this is non zero then no solution if alpha is 3 and this is also 0 then infinite number of solutions are there hence the information of third choice is correct and the information of fourth choice is also correct if alpha is neither minus 1 nor 3 then it will be surely non zero and if it is non zero unique solution is there that is second choice is correct because the information of second choice is wrong.